This battery stopped operating predictably so I opened it up to take a look and see what's going on and I'm discovering here that we have a substantial bulge. See this cell is fine, this cell is fine, this cell is fine, and this cell is bulged up. So this is for all these people that say this doesn't happen and these batteries are totally harmless. This battery right here is on its way to explosion. So let's get this replaced at once. I have a new battery here. It's a proper Lavinol battery because I don't like to use knockoff batteries especially when it's this kind of battery. I just don't like these batteries generally speaking. It's going to be kind of interesting to plug this in. It's kind of a stupid design. Actually, that was very easy. Okay, I guess the design is okay. Okay. See, this battery is pretty much flat along the whole thing. Versus this one, which is clearly, you can see, it's very distinct. Very distinct swelling point there. Not good. No reason to believe that this wouldn't work, but let's just check it before I spend the time putting the screws back in. Well, this battery could be out of charge because it was sitting for a while, but I think it's working just fine. Um, I think what I'm going to do also is I'm going to change the CMOS battery too, just because. I have this open and I'm pretty sure it's not good. I have another unit here. I'll just grab the CMOS from and stick it in here. Now this is going to be <laughs> difficult to plug in here. Still not as bad as I thought, but it wasn't the greatest. Alright, let me grab the power cord and we'll just check and make sure that the battery is in fact charging. Here we get a charge indicator there on the ThinkPad light. Probably get a time error because the battery was taken out. Uh, we'll just uh, continue past that. Huh? What? You check the stupid day and time settings yourself. Okay. So we're back to January 1st, 2001, 12 o'clock in the morning. Um, battery is charging. 
So this is fixed.